On the docket tonight, a, a case that started in the middle of the trial of Derek Chauvin, the man convicted of murdering George Floyd. If you'll recall, take a look uh, at Kim Potter is her name. She is a former police officer. At the time, she was on the job and uh, pulled over a young man named Dante Wright. Uh, let's take a look at Dante Wright. Dante Wright was driving his motor vehicle stop, and all of a sudden it turned into a police shooting, a, a, a fatal shooting. And all of it was caught on body cam, and we're going to show that to you right now. I'll give you a warning that it's, it's graphic in nature. Um, but in, in this case, as we watch what happens, you'll, you'll hear her say, I'm going to tase you, I'm going to tase you, I'm going to tase you. But she ends up with her service weapon in her hand, not her taser, but her service weapon, and she shoots and kills Dante Wright. Take a look. All right, the moment when the video froze, that's when the shots were fired right there. Joining me now in Minneapolis, Minnesota, criminal defense attorney Joe Tamburino. Joe, um, incredibly uh, sad story, tragic story, um, but here's where I want to start, and, and this is a serious question. She's a police officer. It's obvious that, that, that she shot and killed this young man. We see it on video. Now, if this jury believes that it was absolutely a mistake that she absolutely believed she had a taser in her hand. She did not believe she had a service weapon in her hand, and they believe it's a mistake, okay? I want you to do the analysis for us as to when a police officer is on the job and makes a mistake, they get charged with crimes, right? They'll get sued civilly, too, and obviously, uh, and I'm not saying any of this is right or wrong. I just want to understand uh, why. They'll get charged with crimes, and we see it all the time, when they make mistakes. You're on an operating table. The surgeon makes a mistake, and you die. The police don't come in and arrest the, the surgeon. So what's the, what is the difference in the criminal law? The, the doctor will get sued, malpractice, all that. I understand. But what's the difference in, in criminal law where when a police officer is doing his or her job and they make a mistake... If, if, in fact, that's what happened here, right? That's, we're presuming that. Um, they get charged with a crime, uh, but a doctor makes a mistake. You die on the operating table. Um, they don't get charged with a crime. What, what's the difference here? Hi, Vinny. Thanks for having me on. The Vinny is, uh, excuse me, the difference is that there's a prosecutor involved. Quite frankly, that's it, because you hit this right on the head. A mistake itself is not a crime. And if the jury believes that Ms. Potter happened to just make a mistake, she's not guilty. What they've charged her with is second degree manslaughter. That means culpable negligence. Culpable negligence has two things. One is the person has to be grossly negligent, meaning scant care. Second, they have to have a complete disregard uh, for Their disregard, basically, for what's happening around you. Now, if they do that, if they convict her of that, sure, she's going to go to prison. But they won't convict her unless they find gross negligence and basically recklessness. Okay, so where does the where does the recklessness come from? Is that just grabbing the wrong weapon that you have? It comes from what's called a conscious disregard for procedure or safety. So if the jury believes that she said, I'm going to tase you and wanted to grab, grab her taser with the left hand, 
but her brain mistakenly said, grab your right hand, whatever's there. If they believe that, she is not guilty. But if they believe she had a conscious disregard, meaning that she didn't care, she was just rushing through this and she just grabbed it with her right hand, knowing that, well, this could easily happen. I, I really don't care what I'm doing. They will convict her. I think this is a hard case for the prosecutor to prove. This is, and, and you know, you look at it and you feel, inc I mean, he shouldn't have died, right? It, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't have happened, right? He, he should not have died. Um, we're in the, the, the space where we are uh, evaluating all of these uh, cases. Do you think there will be more scrutiny in terms of things that led up to even wanting to grab the taser that become relevant in all of this? Like, can the prosecution make an argument? Um, will, will the jury analyze whether or not he should even have been tased? So maybe just the fact of grabbing for a taser is a disregard in some way uh, for the safety uh, of Dante Wright in, the, in those circumstances? I think all of that will be examined. I think the way the prosecution will start is by going through Ms. Potter's history, going through her training. Uh, she was actually a field training officer, which means she was training other officers. They will go through everything that she's done in her police career with a fine tooth comb. The defense, on the other hand, will call experts. And I would imagine that those experts will say, look, Ms. Potter was trained very well. She knew what was happening, but this was purely an accident, a mistake. And the operating room table that you gave as an example is an excellent example. You could even give other examples like construction for a person, someone who's in a job site and they're building a building. If someone dies because of their moving a plank or a piece of equipment, sure, they could be sued, uh, they could lose money, but prosecutors don't automatically charge them with crimes of negligence. It is great to have you on the program. Joe Tamburino giving us a great, great insight. Uh, this is a, a, you know, a tough case, as you said, and either way you look at it, but at the end of the day, young man, uh, should be alive tonight. Thank you so much. True. Thank you. All right, we're tracking this one, and we have an actual trial date, December 6th. December 6th is the trial date, and, and we believe this is actually going to happen. So this year, uh, Minnesota versus Kim Potter will continue to track it for you right here on your front row seat to justice.